painting and drawing her for streets out and riffraff. We do not raise you to live a street life, Amanda. I have told you several to stop this drawing, painting and whatever life of yours and you have refused to listen. What is wrong with you, Amanda? You sleep in the night, you paint, you wake up in your, you do your painting. You are, you, you, in the noon you are painting, painting all manner of rubbish, rats, cats, flowers and what have you. In all of this you are painting. Have you ever thought of painting a beautiful, bright future of yourself, Amanda Samuel George? And you quiet! Courage doesn't know it's real And sometimes it's like a little voice At the end of the day They keep saying I'ma try to hear She's just a little down girl Driven by a passion genius flair She's gifted and wild It's a perfect day, express our beliefs Colorful fruit and chanting dream light Picture the moments I'm on the side It's a perfect day, express our beliefs Picture the world as it truly is Capture your feelings, I'm on the side What is it again? Is it not Amanda? Amanda with her nonsense drawing. I had to burn them this time. I have told you times with that number. Leave that girl alone with her painting. That's a God-given talent. You call that God-given talent? It's a talent from the pit of hell. Don't say that, my dear wife. Amanda is all we've had. And we must support her in all she does. And what happens to education? Is that not where our support is supposed to go to? Is she not supposed to be more concerned about her educational life? Every young girl out there thinks about how to go back to school. But the Amanda's case is a different thing entirely. All she does is to sleep and wake up with nonsense painting. Has she ever talked about going back to school? Has she? Amanda will go back to school very soon. <laughs> but in the meantime, we have to support her in the things she likes. And that is painting. <laughs> Amanda will go back to school. Wow. Is it the same Amanda that is not interested in talking about her going back to school? No problem. You can continue to pamper her for all I care. As for me, I'll make sure she learns a lesson. Yes. My dear, come, come sit down here. Amanda, my darling, I am very sorry. I know you know that your auntie does not hate you. And I don't hate you either. Your auntie is only concerned about your tomorrow. Uncle, this is my tomorrow. And I need all the support to make this career of mine a dream come true. 
Is it too much to ask? Wonder nobody's against you making painting your career. But you can do better as a graduate. This might be your career. But you need education. Education, education, education. That's what everybody believes in. Uncle Michael Faraday, the founder of electricity, wasn't educated. Thomas Edison, the inventor of Bob, motion pictures and camera, was it educated? How about Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, who were school dropouts? These are world greatest men who had no education. All I plead is to be heard and understood. Amanda, my dear, don't get us all wrong. You can't go on comparing yourself with these great men. Everybody's destinies can be the same. When your parents were alive, all they ever wanted was to give you the best of education. But sadly, they never lived to fulfill that. And that made you drop out of school. And there was nothing we could do because things were really difficult. Times were hard with us. Now that we are ready to put you through the four walls of school, Amanda, you have to allow us to do that. This might be your career, but education is the key. Go and do your paintings, I'll talk to your auntie. And you refuse to answer me. I said, you know, hear you. Look, I'm going to tell you about that dirty dishes at the back here. Nonsense. My dear. Yes, dear. Um. Are we going to scout for a school for Amanda? Mm. You know, until God blesses us with our own child, Amanda is all we have right now. We must love her. Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you when I get back. All right. I have been a bone in your neck. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I shouted at you. 
Believe me, Amanda, I do hate you. I love you. You are the daughter we do not have. Your parents died when you were 10 years old. And they wanted the best for you. And so do we, Amanda. We don't hate you. I love you. I love you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? No, 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 Auntie. Uh, don't worry. I'm a monster. Welcome, honey. How did it go? Oh. Shining Stars Academy. <laughs> Honey, you want to enroll Amanda into Shining Stars Academy, one of the most expensive schools in town. I, I, are you for real? Amanda deserves the best education. I know how are we going to afford these fees? Well, no matter what we do, we just get to double our hustle. Double our hustle with 450,000 naira per term. I mean, we didn't know other cheaper schools. For crying out loud, we cannot afford this. Maybe cheese government schools or, or, or what, whatever. It's not time for that. We don't have time for this. Amanda deserves the best, and we are going to give her the best. Look, honey, we are in this together, and I've told you that God will definitely make a way where there seems to be no way. That's what I believe. Jesus Christ. Baby. Well, How are you doing? How is your mother? She's fine. She actually sends her regards. Oh. Wow. She is fine. Yes, How's your studies? Um, it's fine, sir. I'm actually on my one year industrial uh, attachment, so I decided to come here. I'll be going to school from here. Oh, that's so nice of you. Oh, you you spend some time with us before going back to school, right? Yes. Sir. Wow, that's nice. And um, Amanda, yes, sir. Take him inside. Take care of him. Give him something to eat. Make sure he is okay. Take him inside. Hey guys, that go inside, eh? Thank you, sir. Hey, you. Yourself, eh? All right, sir. Amanda, my daughter. You know we love you, right? And we are also aware of the fact that you enjoy your painting. So on that note, me and your auntie. I've decided to push your painting career to greater heights. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. And Amanda, you know we love and care about you, right? So, um, we will make sure you get to the height of your career. <sighs> this is good news. <laughs> This is the best moment of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Uncle, Auntie, thank you so much for believing in me. God Almighty will surely bless you. Amen. Uh, we owe you, we owe you our, our support. You are our daughter, we owe you our support. And that is why we have decided on that note to enroll you in one of the best high school in town. <laughs> Uh, Amanda, seriously, we know how you feel. And, um. Uncle? I'm befuddled. I mean, what's going on? Can someone put me to right? Is she not supposed to be happy? I mean, school. Girl, not fine, babe. She has she fine.
Amanda. 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 Come on, let's go to school. You'll be late. Amanda. already and we come back out now and we, we, we have promised to give her a good education we all know that amanda is not a very brilliant girl she can barely read fluently uh, but that's why if we want to cope up we need to put her in a school like shiny star academy i heard that they have uh, uh, good teachers and even if it means me selling my land i'll sell it good afternoon good afternoon, good afternoon. Mm, baby. yes uh, how did it go it went well actually. I have met with the principal and uh, Amanda has actually filled a uh, submitted the form. So the principal said that uh, you have just two weeks to pay off the school fees. Yes, and also uh, the school uniform is 7,000 naira. For example, 7,000. So, but can we be casual outfit for now? For like a week. Okay, no worries. Um, go inside and look for something and eat. All right, thank you. Thank you, too. You're welcome. Are you sure we'll be able to do this? Yes. We've committed ourselves, and like I said earlier, if it makes me selling one of my land, I will definitely do that. It's our responsibility. Hey! Are you calling me? No, she's calling your shadow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Come on, you get down here immediately. I can see that you are the new fish that just got admitted into this school. So even if you're blind, are you also deaf to notice that someone just walked past you? I don't understand. Are you from the trash? Can't you greet your seniors when you see them? Sorry, senior. My mind is in there. Good one, senior. You are lucky. I am happy today. Else, you'll be picking pin by now. Sorry, sorry. Don't get out! You heard her. Out! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't step on you. How dare you? Have you got nuts? How dare you step on the shoes that could completely buy everything you're putting on? I'm sorry. Don't stain my shoes with these rags. Else I'll have your name erased from the school. Rubbish. Hmm. The principal son. Hi, I'm Zoe. Welcome to Shiny Stars Academy. Sorry for the trouble, but my darling, more are coming. So be prepared for the storms ahead. Is this how radical the students here in this school is? 
Everybody is just my enemy. Well, they might see you as their enemy, but I see you as my friend. So, friends? Friends. <laughs> That's good. Who are you going to? Um, please, I'm looking for SS1 block. Oh, wow. I'm in SS1. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blessing Paul. Come on, don't be surprised by my name. By the way, we are all in SS1. But to locate the block, you need to find the value of x. But if x is equal to 4, you need to move directly proportional to your left. If x is equal to 7, you need to turn adjacent to your right. Finding the square root of SS1 divided by SS2 <laughs> using the almighty formula board mass. After then, you turn angle 360 to your back. And that's okay already. Come on, let me direct you mathematically. Blessing. Oh. What have you done this time? None of your business. <laughs> Bless the wait though. Hey yo, stop. So don't you ever try to look down on me cause I'm hot. And I got my vibe and you could think I can pop. Pop like I'm crazy. Crazy over painting. That's what I do lately. So you can try. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. So may I introduce to you all our sister Enkiruka, our prayer band leader, for today. <laughs> Oh, it seems our prayer band leader has taken over your seat. Hi. You're my seat. But there are other seats. Can someone help me tell this Mrs. Tusabi that she's on my seat? You are Amanda, right? Yes. 
What time was this excursion scheduled for? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And this is 9.30 a.m. Are you serious? Every other student were here by 7 a.m. for registration and you just come in? I'm sorry, I wasn't feeling too strong. Yes, that's right, Mom. When she left school yesterday, she wasn't feeling too well. And you are her mouthpiece? No, Mom. Sorry. Amanda, I see that you're not serious. Hence, you're not joining this discussion. By the way, why aren't you on the school's uniform? You have a lot of work to do. Amanda, what happened? Why didn't you leave the house early? Joy, I'm tired of this school already. Amanda, just take it easy, okay? I'll see you when I get back. Courage doesn't know it's real And sometimes it's like Keep saying, I'ma try to hear. She's just a little down girl, driven by a passion, genius way. She's gifted and wise. Hey. Good afternoon, SP. Why are you here? What's your name and what class are you in? My name is Amanda. I'm in SS1. I missed the registration of our class excursion and Miss Fortune asked me not to join them. So I decided to come and sit here because I can't stay in the class alone. I see. Well, next time, don't miss us, okay? Yes, sir. Did you draw this? Yes, sir. Wow. 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 You're a genius. This is beautiful. Thank you, Senior. Why are you not on your screen if not? My friends are going to pay for me. Oh, so I'm sorry about that. How about I pay for you? No, Senior, don't. My parents will pay for it. What was that your name again? Amanda. Amanda. Oh. Take this. This is 7,500 naira. Senior, this is too much for someone you just met. It's okay. To do to get your screen from, okay? Just take it. I insist. Thank you so much, Senior. Go and get yourself a new screen from so you feel among, okay? Hey. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. My parents will be very happy. Thank you so much. Bravo, Clinton. Savior to the world. I don't understand. Clinton. I saw you giving money to that slum girl. Jessica, why are you this mean? Why are you calling her a slum girl? Well, it's obvious, looking at the way she's dressed. I don't have time for your troubles. Clinton, wait! <sighs> Jessica, are you sure your man has not been taken already by Miss Slum Girl? <laughs> <sighs> Jennifer, are you for real? Clinton, I know, won't even be attracted to such a low life bitch. Mm. <sighs> Guys, come with me. Cut up, cut up, cut the chase, you know. I can turn up for the case, but no challenging. I'm talented. I should never make me reverse. Cut up, cut up, cut up. Hold you right there. Good morning, sir. Shut it. What is good about this money? Let me have that money. Whoa, what money, sir? Amanda, are you daft? How dare you answer questions with questions? Don't worry, girls. Let me help her.
Now listen to me, Amanda. When next you think of choosing friends, be careful of the kind of friends you choose. I don't want to ever see you close to the SP again. Am I understood? Yes, no. Joy, you guys are back. Yeah, we missed the love. Hello, beautiful. Can I take you on the practical aspect of what we learned today? Mm -hmm. Look, we were told that the level of capacity under physics can be described by a centiliter when you divide it under a liter of centillion. Mm. Blessing. <sighs> What's your problem with Amanda? Why not just let the poor girl breathe? I was only trying to tell her that. Tell her what? Let's go. Christ. <laughs> Remember, I told you to be prepared for bigger troubles. Speaking about trouble, I got into one today. How? What happened? The SP offered to pay for my uniform, so. Wait, wait. Senior Clinton, the SP. How come? I don't know. He just offered to pay. <laughs> just like that. Do you know that Senior Clinton is every girl's dream in this school? <laughs> wow. Tell me more. So, after giving me 7,500, mm -hmm. some girls snatched it from me. Wait, let me guess. Jessica, Jemima and Jennifer, right? Yeah, the same girls I met on my first day in school. I knew it. Jessica obviously loves Clinton, so she's just jealous. But Amanda, why didn't you stand up for yourself? Look, Amanda, let me tell you something. You need to know how to fight for yourself. Unless everybody in this school will think you're a weakling. How many times do I have to tell you this thing? Hmm? I've told you. If you do, see everybody will see you as a weakling. You need to know how to stand up for yourself and fight for yourself. Hi, ladies. Hi, Senor Clinton. Joy, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Amanda, I thought by now you would be in your school uniform. Um, yes, yes, I'll get it. Is everything okay? No, Senior Clinton, everything is not okay. Everything is not okay. Amanda, what's the problem? Well, Jessica and her friends got the money from her. Amanda, is this true? Um, it's... I will see you later. Sure. No, you don't have to. What is it? Amanda, look here, see? It's high time. Those three get what they deserve. Do you understand me? Come, let's go to class. My fortune will be on our way. Alright, so compound and complex so you two were outside while my class is ongoing. Yes. Amanda and Joy. Yeah, sorry ma'am. We were at the library. Joy, you came for the excursion, right? Yes ma'am, I did. And instead of you to pay attention to the summary of what was learned today, you were busy. Busy hanging out with Amanda. Since you said we went to the library, Spell me the word mischievous. Mischievous. M I S C H I E V O U S. Mischievous. To your seat immediately. And over to you, Amanda. Spell me the word catastrophe. Catastrophe. Ka. Ka. Ke. Ka. Ka. Ke. Miss Fortune, I have a suggestion. I think a mother should be a good teacher. Be quiet! Be quiet! Amanda, get out of my class. 
and come back when you're ready to learn. Hey, take your bag with you. So they will say compound and complex sentences. Give it back. Give what back? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm saying. What's wrong with you? Why do you hate Amanda so much? Eh, 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 eh. Clinton, have you ever bought anything for me before? All I do is show you green lights. But you keep showing no interest in me. Clinton, you know I love you. And I need you all to myself. That's not enough reason for you to snatch the money I gave to Amanda. And besides, we are not dating. We are just classmates. Then let's start dating. You know I love you, Clinton. And I'm here for you. There is nothing Amanda can give to you. I will make sure you enjoy everything in me. Or don't you like what you see? Hmm? Full package. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda. Yes, Sr. Clinton. Are you not supposed to be in class? I could not spell a word given to me by Miss Fortune, so she asked me to leave her class. It seems that you concentrate more on your art talks more than your studies. You need to concentrate more on your studies so you won't be sent out of the class for not being able to spell a word. Well, I got this back. You don't have to. You've done enough. I don't want more troubles. Don't worry, I have nothing to worry about. And I think I should start taking your extra lessons. I don't think I need any extra classes for now. Amanda, with your level of professionalism in your drawing, I think you need to back it up with serious wisdom and knowledge. This will help you out a lot. It's okay if you say so. Come on, give me a hug. Come on, come on. Thank you so much for everything you do. I want you to be shining tomorrow. Your school preferred paid for this uniform for me. Yes, Auntie. At least you send me the more pay for my classmates. So a boy saw a girl and decided to pay for school for her. Amanda, are you sure this boy does not want anything from you? No, Uncle. He's a very nice person. At first, he saw my art, then he liked it. Then he noticed I was not on uniform and he asked me, and I told him my parents don't have money. Hey! You told him you don't have money? Amanda! Uncle, I'm sorry, but I had to tell him the truth. It's okay, my dear. Uh, the good thing is that you now have a uniform. You don't Please, help me tell him that we are grateful. Okay, Auntie. So, tomorrow now, my daughter will be shining. <laughs> like a girl in Shining Star Academy. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should be shining. You can right? keep it very well. Don't allow it to get wrong.
my God, David, what is all this? Ah, uh, Amanda, calm down. Uh, uh, God, you're so unbelievable. Listen, listen, Amanda, you're very beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen, Amanda. Let me be, David. Let me be. Jesus. Good morning, Auntie. David. No, I was, I was trying to dress her for sleep. Yeah, yeah. Auntie, David has been stalking me. It's a lie, you. Ah, Amanda, why are you lying now? Auntie, it's a lie, you. Ah, Will you be ah, quiet? I saw everything. So this is why you have refused to go back to your place. Are you insane? Auntie, I'm sorry. How do you do that nonsense with her? I'm sorry, man. You know, the, Amanda is very beautiful. Are you insane? Oh, you know How did you try that rubbish with her? You are a very big fool. Get ready to leave my house. Ah, Auntie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Amanda. Yes, Auntie. Leave so you don't get left. Auntie, I'm sorry now. Get Just ready to, to leave my house. Sorry, Auntie. How did you manage to get a uniform? I'm sorry. But you look fine. Really? You're welcome. But Amanda, this is math class. Amanda? Questions? Both of you are discussing in class. We are sorry, sir. Beautiful. Stand up. I have been busy trying to give a solution. And both of you are busy discussing instead of paying attention. I'll come into your office with you. Okay, okay, sir. I'll see you later. Okay, mom. Take care of yourself. What's the issue? Drawing in your class? My, not just my class. My period. I was teaching. I was busy teaching and this girl was busy drawing. What is this? What is this? Mrs. Stanley, who is this Amanda that is giving all my teachers headache in school? I have received several complaints about her. And the fact that she's not a senior student. And you're in class teaching? And she's not focused? Exactly, man. You mean she can neither write nor write and yet she will not be focused? She can't! No, 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 no. This, this is unacceptable. Mr. Stanley? Yes, ma'am. Please, you get a letter from me to her parents. Okay? Okay. Because we need to sort this out. Thank you, ma'am. Please. I'm sorry, you may go back to your class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here! What's, 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 what's this? Amanda, do you want to put us to shame? 
why have you decided at every time to give deaf ears to your studies? Amanda! Uncle, I'm sorry. I was just born in. What, 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 what? You are drawing in a class when my mathematics is going on, Amanda. In a class where they are teaching math, you are drawing. Uncle, I'm sorry. Just listen to yourself. Amanda, do you know how much you have sacrificed in this family to make sure that you have a good education? You are making me regret my action. Look at this letter. Your principal sent this letter to us. They have asked us to call it to order. You, Amanda. Take it from my sight! How can you be bored? In the first class, teachers in the class teaching, and you're telling me you're bored. It's a perfect day. Express your beliefs. Picture the world as it truly is. Capture your feelings. Hi, Amanda. I'm really sorry about yesterday. It was not my fault. It's fine. Thank you. Good morning, Esther. Good morning, Good morning. Amanda. Why are you not in the field? I'm just coming back from the field. Well, I came to you. Inform you that I'll be following you after school tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I can find out where you stay. You know, I promised that I'll be coming to take your extra classes. Yeah. So I told my parents about it and they were very happy that you could help. Clinton! I want to see you now. What's the problem? And what are you doing with this waste being girl? You will not call her that. Well? Obviously, that's what she is. And you, who invited you to this conversation? You better mind your business. Look, Clinton, can't you see that Amanda here is not worth your time? I will be the judge of that. I'm giving you just a minute to be with her. You cannot keep this beautiful girl waiting. I hope she's worth your stress. Because obviously you've been helping her a lot these days. Amanda needs to be loved and cared for. She does not deserve to be humiliated because she is not brilliant. <laughs> Jessica doesn't find this funny. She loves you and you know it. Jessica and I can never be together. She's too rude, arrogant and purpose for my liking. Oh, precious. Yeah. I want to see you now. Okay, please give me a minute. I said now. But you see I'm with Clinton. <sighs> precious. 30 seconds and you are not here where I want you to be. Trust me, even Clinton won't be able to save you. Mr. Man, the fact that you're the principal son does not give you the audacity to talk to anyone the way you please. And what can you do about that, Clinton? Okay, guys, it's okay. Let's go. Gabriel, let's go. Hi. Hi. Are you good to go? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let me go and get my bag. Guy, what do you want to be that? Don't believe that to me. Say she knows her people. Who is she knows her people? Where do they go? Hi, bro. Auntie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Amanda. How are you? I'm fine, Auntie. Oh, fine. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma. Um, Auntie, is a senior prefect in school. Is he the one that paid for your school uniform? Right? Yes, Auntie. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. That was so nice of you. You're welcome. Man. Thank you. Auntie, he came to know where I'm staying because he promised to take me on extra classes every weekend. Are you for real? Yes, Auntie. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you very much. 
God bless you. Thank you. It's fine, Ma. She deserves more. Yeah. I will make sure that Amanda knows how to read and write perfectly. Amanda, did you hear that? Yes. He is your destiny helper. Yeah. Thank you, my son. God bless you. It's fine, Ma. Would you mind coming inside to at least relax and wait for my husband? He would really love to see you. Okay, Ma. Okay. No problem, Ma. Okay, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect day, express your beliefs. Colorful fruit and shining dream light. Picture the moments I'm under sight. It's a perfect day, express your beliefs. Picture the world as it truly is. Capture your feelings, I'm under sight. I'm under sight. Trouble. I've had a lot of troubles already. <laughs> oh, I feel for her. She's so emotional. <laughs> Amanda, now that Clinton is not here, I wonder who is going to save you. <laughs> now listen to me, you little prostitute. Hold it right there. How dare you call my friend a prostitute? Is it because she's been so calm and gentle with you guys? You guys think you can speak to her anyhow, right? Really? Can Amanda even hurt a fly? I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, Joy, let's go. Amanda, no. It is high time to teach these SS2 girls a lesson. Mm, really? Now listen to me, Amanda. The next time I see you close to Clinton, I will so deal with you that even your useless parents won't be able to recognize you. What can you do? Amanda, you want to tell me that you have started fighting your seniors? No, ma. She called my parents useless. What? Ah! Amanda! Amanda, you can lie. My a lie. I never uttered such words. You said it, I never said such words. How will I even call her parents useless? Amanda, you can lie. Amanda, what is the matter with you? Are you telling me that your senior is telling a lie? Yes, ma. I'm telling you the truth. Shut up! Mr. Stanley, yes, ma. pick up her suspension letter from my desk to her guardian. No, ma, please. And please ensure that she leaves the school premises immediately. 
<laughs> please, but don't suspend me. Please. I don't understand what the matter is with you girls. And you, I understand you're her best friend. But I'll let you go because you were not directly involved in the fight. But next time, you will know how it feels. I don't know what's wrong with you girls. Excuse me. I have two things to go longer. Focus on your studies. Focus on what brought you to school. You wouldn't listen. Now look at what you drag yourself into. <laughs> Tell me, who is the loser now? Enjoy your stay at home. What's going on? Am I close to something? Mother, this take it easy. We'll go and meet her later. Maybe we should probably change her mind. Just let me be. Ever since my parents died, everything has been falling apart. What? You are an orphan? Yes, yes, Joy. Now you know. My uncle and auntie will kill me if they know I'm suspended. <laughs> You can try again after day. I'll start. Come on, 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 You've done enough already. Oh, God, you have God. done enough already. You have, do, do, you know, do, you, do you have any idea how much you have spent? Give me the good education. Oh, honey, calm down. Please take it easy for what? We said that to school to come and fight the seniors. When you finish running, you bring me inside the house. Take it, take it easy. This is how you fought. Fought as well. You don't want to hear. Happened. I don't really want to talk about it. The big deal here is the mother has been suspended to further notice. I really feel for her. Wait, guys. So, because Amanda has been suspended, everyone has suddenly felt emotional for her. Come on, guys, can we have some fun? Exactly, guys. I mean, Amanda deserves what she got. What's really happening? Aren't you supposed to feel for her? At least she was our classmate. Please help me tell them. Guys, guys. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Amanda is back to school. Hey. Where is she? 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 She's known for this humbleness. She's calm and respectful. What did Jessica say to her that made her for her? Clinton. Clinton. Don't tell me you weren't listening to me. Miriam. I'm speechless. Amanda does not deserve this. Your treatment she's getting. What are you doing here? Haven't you done enough? Clinton, please calm down. Please hear me out. I know I've done worse things to Amanda. I feel for her too. Okay, to be honest, I was happy when she got suspended. Until I got home and I realized that Amanda did not deserve the kind of treatment I gave to her. Clinton, I'm sincerely sorry. Well... It doesn't change the fact that Amanda has been suspended. And it's all your fault. I know. Which is why I came here, so we could both sort for solutions to bring her back. And how do you intend on doing that? Well, I thought of going to go and meet the principal, you and I. Meet her to help lift the ban of suspension. Or we'll talk to Gabriel to help us talk to his mother. Who knows? She might listen to him. If there's anybody that knows him, Mom, that's me. He will never speak to his mother about Amanda. He never liked her. 
So what do we do now? Eh? Coming. I thought you'd forgotten about me. Not at all. I'm here for you now. I missed you. Are you serious? Yes, my pretty. I missed you more. I'm really sorry for all you've been through. It's fine. It's fine. Guess what? What? Jessica met me yesterday. She felt sorry for what she did to you. Jessica felt sorry. I was as surprised as you are. Pardon me, please. So how have you been? I'm not being good though. I miss all my friends in school. How is Joy? Mm, I guess she's doing just good. Please send my gas to her. Tell I miss her. That will not be a problem. But for now, let's get down to business. Go get your books. Let's have some class. I lost appetite for my books ever since I was suspended. Amanda, this is the time where you have to study the most. But you want to go back to school and be overlooked? No. Do you want to go back to school the same way you left? No. So go and get your books, please. Okay? Okay. Classifications of bias. Industrial bias. Intermediate bias. And institutional bias. This is not why we are here. You still have all day to do this. Flow of materials and services. This has to do with them supplying our materials and Precious, why would you want me to talk to my mother about Amanda's suspension? For God's sake, if she was suspended, then she should go ahead and pay for her actions. I'm sure she's going to learn her lessons. But Amanda is a good girl. She fought Jessica because she insulted her parents. I'm sure you wouldn't take it lightly with anyone who tries to insult your mother. I can see the sport is still going on outside. If you don't have anything doing, I think you should just go out and continue with the sports. As you can see, I'm busy. Gabriel, why are you like this? Why are you so heartless? I don't have time for this.
Hey yo, stop. So don't you ever try to look down on me cause I'm hot. And I got my vibe that you could think I can pop. Pop like I'm crazy, crazy over painting. That's what I do lately. So you can try now to make me cry out. But when I'm down, man, I'ma rise up. Hey yo, wait. Hey, what you born, nigga? I got it all here. Just let me be, nigga. Hey yo, stop. Cut up, cut up, cut the chase, you know. I can't turn up for the case, but no challenge. For the case, no challenging. I'm talented. Action lovers make me reverse. Me wanna do it my way. Shine like a talk and no play. Heading to the top of my face. Flying through the sky and no play. Me wanna do it my way. Shine like a talk and no play. Heading to the top of my face. Flying through the sky, so Agriculture. Agriculture can be defined as the art and science of growing of crops and rearing of animals for the benefit of man. Agriculture can be defined as the art and science of growing of crops and rearing of animals for the benefit of man. Afforestation can be defined as growing of plants. Deforestation. Deforestation can be defined as cutting down of trees. Deforestation can be defined as cutting down of trees. Hmm. Wow. You know, agriculture can be defined as art and science of growing of plants and rearing of animals for the benefit of man. Uncle, what do you understand by afforestation? You tell me. Hmm. Okay, let me let show you. Afforestation can be defined as growing of trees, while deforestation can be defined as cutting down of trees. <laughs> so, that will be the end for this class. Bye! It's not my Amanda. It's not my Amanda. I am a friend. She's the one. <laughs> I told you. I said, if it means me selling my life, she will go to school. <laughs> <laughs>okay okay okay i know i deserve every treatment i get from you but i'm really really sorry i had long forgiven you really thank you so much so how about amanda how is she amanda is fine please extend my regards to her and help me tell her that i'm sorry sure i will but do you think she will forgive me amanda is a kind-hearted person so I'm sure she holds no grudges against you. Okay, now you say so. Thank you. I have observed of recent that you've been showing some kind gestures towards Amanda. I don't get. I don't understand you, Gabriel. I have chosen to love and care for Amanda. Is that a problem? You have chosen to love. To love and care for Amanda. Please leave. Love. Jessica. Jemima. Jennifer. Hi, Jessica. Do you really think it's necessary to make friends with Amanda before executing this plan? Exactly my point. <laughs> hmm. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. It came in early this morning. 
Our school has been invited for an international spelling competition holding in South Africa. Wow. This is big. But unfortunately, we can't honor this. But why, ma? This is a huge opportunity for Shining Stars Academy to be recognized worldwide if by luck we come out first in this competition. And how do we intend to come first in a competition where we don't have any fine art students to represent the school? We can start by training someone, ma. The competition is in three months. We can train any of our fine art students to represent the school. <laughs> that, you know, is not going to be possible. We need a student who is very good at painting, but a student we have to start training from scratch. No. How about Amanda? Amanda? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? Amanda? This is ridiculous. But ma, she's the most qualified student for this. She's good at painting, sketching, and even drawing. And her inability to read and write? We can make her go for extra classes, ma. She's not completely daft. I believe so much in this competition. So, you are suggesting we pick a girl who literally knows nothing to represent our school in an international competition of this kind? This competition is over. Give me one month, man. One month and I promise to make Amanda as smart as you expect. Two weeks. You have just two weeks. But if Amanda remains the same, you will be transferred from this school. Blessing. Firstly, my suspension has been lifted. Secondly, I'll be representing my school in an international painting competition holding in South Africa. Oh my god, I'm so grateful! Oh cool. Let's see, what is it? You guys don't look at me. Amanda, you're not going to competition. No, Uncle, why? This is an opportunity to prove myself to the world. This same school that humiliated you, mocked you for not knowing anything, suspended you for a month, now they suddenly lift your suspension. And now I've called you back to go represent them. They now know how valuable you are to them. Right? You won't be going. Uncle, I know that Shiny Star Academy has not been nice to me, but maybe this is why God took me here. Or will you not be happy to watch me on international platform? Auntie, please talk to uncle. I will stand by your uncle in whatever he says. Going for a competition like this requires a lot of financial spending. And I don't think we are ready for that now. No, Auntie. I don't think we'll be spending any money on this. Everything will be sponsored by this school because I'm not going for myself. I'm going for them. Amanda, the school cannot do anything for you. We still need to spend money. First of all, you need to get an international passport. And it's going to be costly, you know, because it's urgent. At this point, you need to take off your mind from this competition. Zero your mind from going back to the training star academy. Because the children are hard work here at home. Maybe education wasn't made for you. No, Uncle. Education is for everyone, including me. I want to go back to school. Uh, Amanda, I thought you never wanted to go to school. Well, I want to go now. Oh, please, please. Congratulations in advance. Go and bring the coffee home. <laughs> Hey yo, stop. So don't you ever try to look down on me cause I'm hot. And I got my vibe and you could think I can pop. Pop like I'm crazy, crazy over painting. That's what I do lately. So you can try now to make me cry out. And when I'm down, man, I'ma rise up. Hey yo, wait. Hey, what you born, nigga? I got it all here. Just let me be, nigga. Hey yo, stop. Cut up, cut up, cut the chase, you know. I can't turn up for the case, but no challenge. Got the chase. I can't turn up for the case. No challenging, I'm talented. Action levers, 
make me reverse me when I do it my way. Shine like a talk and no play. Heading to the top of my face. Flying through the sky in no play. Money. I hope we are all doing well. Yes, ma'am. Teacher Stanley, thank you for giving me this time. Thank, thank you very much, ma'am. I want to use this opportunity to welcome Miss Amman back to school. <laughs> Amanda, the task ahead of you is huge, and we expect you to do the best for this school. You have three months to prepare ahead of time because you know it's an international competition. So, what is expected of you is for you to stay focused and please concentrate. Remember that whatever you do will bring honor to the school. So on behalf of the school, I want to congratulate you and congratulate Shining Stars Academy because I trust that you will bring the trophy back to the school. Thank you so much, Ma. I promise to do my best and never to disappoint you. Thank you so much for believing in me. You're welcome. But I think that the person you should really thank is to just stand here because he's the one who gave all the push for you to represent the school internationally. And we are sure that you'll do well. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Thank you, class. I expect everyone to be on good conduct. Please sit. Thank you. Do your very best because you never know where you'll go tomorrow. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amanda, hi. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I have been so concerned about you ever since you left. I kept on asking Clinton and Joy about you. I just always wanted to tell you how sorry I am. I realized I was so mean to you. I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. And can we be friends? Please, Amanda. Jessica has not been answered ever since you were suspended. Same with Jemima and I. Please, we are sorry. Forgive us. Amanda, please. To be born, I need to prove me. No, 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 it's okay. Get up, it's okay. Get up. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got it for you at the school canteen. I've always known how much you love meat pies. Wow. How do you know my love for meat pies? Enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm fine. They tried to poison me. <laughs> These three girls were all things to get well who saved my life. Exactly. I overheard their evil plans to poison Amanda. Girls, 
You know Amanda loves meat pie so much. So, I got the meat pie and I've injected the poison as planned. We'll wait for her to come out from the principal's office. Then we'll approach her and give it to her. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Amanda, wait. Amanda, I know we've not been best of friends, but trust me, I have the minds of every student of Shiny Stars Academy, and I care about them. Listen, Jessica and her friends are planning to poison you. Poison me? Don't be surprised, Amanda. But why would they do that? Amanda, there is no time for questions and answers. Okay? Now have this. That's exactly what they are planning to poison you with. They'll give you a meat pie and it's been injected with poison. When I found out, I had to rush to the canteen to get you the meat pie. Please, make them believe you've eaten theirs, but exchange it with mine. Okay? Okay. Please, just go. Thank you so much. Amanda, go. There is no time. Go, 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 please. Amanda took the meat pie and did as I instructed her. Yes, I told Joy to distract them when they had given me the meat pie. And that's when I now came. Wow, how do you know my love for meat pie? Like I said, I've been so concerned about you, so... Amanda! Mrs. Stanley wants to see you. Trying to imagine if you didn't do this, it would have been a different story by now. Amanda, I really thank God for your life. I kind of wanted to tell you that apart from the international drawing competition, and the principal has decided to place you on scholarship throughout the second oh my and the university. Oh my God. Oh, that's Picture the world as it truly is Capture your feelings 